Obviously, Eli, you never want to see anybody get hurt, but uh, just talk about the excitement level that you have having an opportunity to play again this week. Yeah, definitely. And just, um, you know, that's what, that's what you miss most uh, um, is just being competitive and, and going out there and, 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 you know, going on game day and the excitement of, of making plays and being in the game and a chance of win. And so, um, you know, I just want to do, do my part and, and try to uh, get this team a win and go out there and compete. And, and it uh, should be a great you know, atmosphere Monday night in Philadelphia. This team knows you well and you know them well. What is going to be the approach as, as it relates to getting kind of a, a stable mindset for this offense just each and every play? Yeah, I mean, I think it's just, uh, you know, we just got to stay, um, you know, just stay within the game and just, you know, try to get positive plays and try to, um, you know, be able to run the ball, get, you know, just stay in good down and distance, stay out of the third and longs always, but, you know, also, you know, take, take your shots and, and um, try to uh, use all our weapons and, um, and, and see if we can hit some of those big plays. Their secondary has been, you know, everybody's talking about how they're a little weak. Talk about your preparation for getting ready for a team like that that seems like they have a few holes, but their front is still good. Yeah, obviously their front is, is very talented. They do a good job uh, stopping the run, not letting a whole lot of teams uh, run on them. They load the box up and, and you know, kind of um, make you throw the ball on them. And so our outside guys got to make plays. They got to get separation and, and win some of those one-on-one -on -one battles. It's a lot of man uh, coverage. You know, be prepared for that and, you know, take your shots and, and uh, you know, kind of have that aggressive uh, approach and um, but you know you also got to block them up and, and you know keep them from making the big plays also. All right guys the Giants are headed to Philadelphia to face the Eagles a division opponent in a traditionally tough place to play the Giants are 6 and 11 at the link. You guys have both played in a lot of road venues and have gone to a lot of road venues. So my first question for you is what is the toughest road venue in the NFL? Ooh, the toughest in the NFL. I would say it was probably the old black hole at the Oakland Raiders. I used to love going there, but I only got to play there a few times, and it was rough. Those fans were nuts. It was a lot of fun to be around them, but that was probably one of the toughest places to play. I'm going to have to say Philadelphia, past and present. Both places are pretty tough to play in because the fan base just so rude. You think they're mean? They're just nasty. They're just rude. But it's the city of brotherly love. Yeah, they love their own, not yours. <laughs> <laughs> well, it'll be tough on the road for sure. The Giants have lost eight consecutive games. If they lose another nine straight, will tie the franchise's record for the longest losing streak set in 1976. But what is the reason that the Giants have struggled against the Eagles so much in recent history? I think it's the defense. I think their defense down there has been great. They've played very well together. they got some good players up front. They put a lot of pressure on the Giants' offensive line. They put a lot of pressure on the Giants' run game. And, of course, they sack the quarterback a lot. They do enough on offense to get by, but their defense has been stifling us for years. Well, long story short, Howard, they just played better. That, too. <laughs> Carl, we're going to start with the Philadelphia Eagles offensively, and they've always used the tight end, whether Andy Reid was there or now Doug Peterson. Well, and in this instance, Bob, it's a dual threat. Number one, you've got their, their guy who is the quarterback's best friend in terms of targets. Secondly, they have the one route here that has bedeviled this Giants defense. Here you see them in a bunch formation, and it's just a, a spray Basically, and it's a two-way crossing route. So here's where the Giants have always struggled all year, Bob, is with crossing routes. How do you defend a crossing route? So you got one here and you got one here. How do you defend that? And that's going to be the Giants' biggest challenge. If they're going to play man coverage and you've got a man free, this guy's got to be some kind of help on anything coming back to the backside. Zach Ertz is a favorite target. And the crossing route is a favorite route against this Giants defense. All right, let's go to the other side of the ball, Carl. And Philadelphia is really soft in their pass defense on the secondary level. But up front, they create a lot of problems. For They've them. got guys, that, and they just come forward. All their guys. The guy that's been a key for them consistently has been Brandon Graham. He is a guy that is just always going a good motor. He's been healthy. And you'll see here... He just gets in. He's got two people he's playing against, sees the quarterback, throws off a lineman, gets right back, sacks the quarterback. Great energy, 
very, very tough player. You know the opponent well, they know you well. Aggressive team, not giving up a lot in the run game. What is, will be the key to balance and trying to get the offense on track consistently? Well, I think we got to do what we did last year against them. We got up 19 to nothing early in the game, and we we were aggressive running the ball. We were aggressive throwing the ball. We've got to be very aggressive. We understand it's important to block their front, but uh, that just doesn't mean throwing the ball down the field, but aggressive in our approach. So uh, running the ball, we got to make yards. Uh, Saquon's got to run like he did last week. I thought it was much, much better in terms of having an impact on the game. And then when we throw the ball, we got to hit on him. This is your first year with the Giants, but the Giants-Eagles rivalry is about as hot and heavy, the turnpike tussle, as yeah. people like to call it. What have your teammates told you to expect in this Monday night game? Uh, one funny thing they always talk about is be all type of, from kids to old ladies out there yelling and, and yelling at you and telling you the Eagles better than your team. So it's, it's exciting. I played out there once before, so I know how crazy it can get, but I live for games like that, man. It's, it's even more of a motivation to get out there and, and get this team another win for us and get a win under our category because we need it and uh, to help us get out there and be motivated. Carson Wentz seems to have struggled a little bit this year, a little sporadic as compared to when he first came on to the league by storm. What do you see in his game right now that may be able, uh, you guys can exploit, I should say? The good thing about him, uh, he's competitive. He's a competitive player, man. And uh, when you compete like he do and try to win, uh, some turnovers can come out of, of your offense. And he's so competitive, man, that he always trying to make the big plays no matter what. So if we can get out there and get a couple turnovers and get takeaways, uh, that'll be able to help our team out a lot. And uh, you got to be able to get after him because he's a good player. You know, he know how to scramble real good. So you got to rush together, stay in your rush lanes and focus on just getting after them together as a team. The Eagles, even though they're in the middle of the league in sacks, they're top three in the NFL in quarterback knockdowns. And we know Eli Manning has certainly taken a lot of hits from the Eagles in the past. So do you think about using some more max protection in passing situations? Well, if he's going to throw from the pocket, I would think about using max protection. But I also think that they should move the pocket or let him do some boots and throw on the run just to just to confuse the uh, the Eagles defense. Hey Giants fans, Saquon Barkley here. You want to see more videos? Subscribe below.